I'm Paul Beckwith, and of course, this is Shackleton the Explorer, and uh, he's ex very hungry today, so it was kind of easy to get him here to uh, kind of bribe him. So excuse uh, the Shackleton uh, chewing, but uh, like I said, he's very restless. So in this video and the next few, I'm going to talk about a number of different things. Uh, recently, I've been um, filming a number of videos with the people that uh, the colleagues that I went to the uh, climate conference in Madrid, Spain with. And, um, you know, in case there is a, a climate conference um, late November of this year, then, um, you know, we want to be ready. So I'm filming a number of videos with Peter Carter and Regina Valdez and... Um, Heidi and Charles are doing a lot of uh, the work in putting together the videos and recording the Zoom sessions and editing them. So uh, that's great. So we're, we're doing this under a group. We're, we called ourselves the Climate Emergency Forum. Uh, Peter Carter, his website and his organization is the Climate Emergency Institute. And what I want to do in this video is Peter has put together about 90 slide, 90 odd slides on, he, he's called it the 2021 Climate Change Science Earth Catastrophe, A Warning to the World. And uh, this was released uh, just over a month ago. And it's a comprehensive sort of state of the climate in 90 referenced data set images. So that's the main focus. But before I talk about that, um, I'm going to talk about some of the, uh, you know, a little bit about his website and, and uh, also some of the things that um, I've been up to as well. Um, so this is the slides and I'll get back to this. Um, this is my website, paulbeckwith.net. Um, so the last topic was underestimating the challenges for avoiding a ghastly future. Now, Peter, on his, in his emergency institute, uh, 2021 update, he talks about this uh, paper about avoiding a ghastly future, which I discussed in the last few videos. Uh, this is me, my seventh birthday, and if you compare the smile and my ears and so on to now, I don't think I've really changed uh, one bit. Um, sometimes uh, my behavior with the cats uh, has my, my uh, <laughs> wife shaking her head saying, yeah, you know, you haven't really grown up since uh, this picture was taken. But anyway, um, so please consider also donating to my PayPal to support my videos. I have over a thousand videos on all different topics of abrupt climate system change. Okay, so the Climate Emergency Forum. So once a week, I get together with, um, with these folk here, okay? on Zoom. So Regina Valdez, she's in New York, and she's doing a lot of work with climate reality. Peter Carter um, in Vancouver, and it's his website, the Climate Emergency Institute, that I'll be talking about. Uh, myself, of course, and uh, Heidi and Charles, and they have basically uh, organized this thing for, for us and, uh, you know, are doing, are filming the videos and doing a lot of great editing and stuff, like the actual technical quality of these videos is, is excellent. Um, 35 minutes, we're trying to keep it down to 28 minutes, which is the, which is the uh, climate conference uh, time limit for uh, press release, uh, press conference uh, sessions. So this is the first video that we did, the most important topics of the climate emergency. And there was another one that was just released um, uh, two days ago, Climate Emergency Solutions and Their Obstacles. And the next one will be uh, the global ocean crisis and then followed by the global cryospheric crisis. So one of these is coming out a, a week. So I highly recommend that you subscribe uh, to, this, to these videos and uh, they're, they're excellent, uh, excellent viewing. Okay, so Peter Carter's um, site is the Climate Emergency Institute. If you just Google climateemergencyinstitute.com, okay, this is his site, and there's all kinds of information on this site. But what I'm gonna talk about in this particular video is 
there, down at the bottom there, there's 2021 warning. So if you click on 2021 warning, then you get this, the 2021 climate science world warning. Okay, so the team, you know, there's Peter, um, there's a bunch of different people. I'm on here and Regina's on here. And of course, Peter is the director of the Climate Emergency Institute. Okay, so what, what's being done is, uh, you know, through the guidance of Peter, um, lots of people have been contacted on the UN Security Council and they've been write, you know, written to Joe Biden's uh, election campaign in the first week he was president. And many of the UN member states gathered virtually February 22nd to 23rd for the fifth session of the UN Environmental Assembly, UNEA5. Um, so this is the world's top decision-making body. Um, it's attended, these conferences are attended by government leaders, business, civil society, and environmental activists. So it's basically making sure that they know what's going on in terms of how dire the climate problem is. There's a link here to the slides, which I will, will show you in a few minutes. Um, there's a group called Facing Future here, which is another, which is an excellent group. And I'll also show you, okay, so the Facing Future group is here. This is the website, Facing Future Earth. So Stuart, uh, my, my uh, Colleague Stuart Scott is the executive director of this group. And Heidi and Charles are also doing a lot of work within this group. So there's lots of videos and lots of, lots of information, really good uh, interviews with people on all different topics. So I highly recommend you check out that website. And there's also um, scientists warning, world scientists warning of a climate emergency. And again, lots of content, lots of information and stuff there. So I'm just giving a plug for these sites, basically. Going back to the 2021 um, climate science warning, there's all kinds of, uh, the objective, of course, is to stop the collapse of the biosphere, which is already in progress. In fact, it's accelerating. And, um, you know, we need to mobilize the world to, to take action. So that's the whole, the whole push is to do that. And, you know, we need to halt fossil fuel subsidies right away, um, halt the greenhouse gas intensive subsidies to the agricultural and food industries, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and there's all kinds of, uh, here, here's uh, contact information of many of the UN Security Council members, their emails and their contact information, their addresses, et cetera. Um, so if you, th if you want to help with that, then, then send a, a message to uh, Peter Carter. He's on Facebook and and uh, Twitter and everything, or I can put you in contact with them. Okay, now one of the things in here is that uh, here, okay, in January 2021, and I'll talk about these in subsequent videos, there are a number of very key research papers. So the one was underestimating the challenges of avoiding a ghastly future, okay? And I talked, I did a number of videos on that. Um, just, uh, you know, just re very, very recently. Another one which I will talk about, I haven't talked about yet, but I will. How close are we to the t temperature tipping point of the terrestrial biosphere? What temperature do, does photosynthesis stop in what are known as C3 and C4 uh, type plants? And it's very, uh, it's very eye-opening and very uh, somber study, the results. Uh, greater committed warm, warming after accounting for the pattern effect, another fairly recent paper, and climate operation warp speed. Okay, what we need to, uh, we need a climate operation. We, we need to, we, to generate the vaccines, we kind of, governments went through this warp speed program to generate vaccines um, for the virus, and we need to do that with, with climate change. Okay, so those, so excellent sites. I highly recommend you check those out. Now, my cat is driving me crazy because he's getting the rest of this food. So, sorry, I got to get... <laughs> I gotta, okay, go, 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 go. There you go. Gave him the rest. There was some in my pocket, and he was kind of uh, scratching and, and trying to get at it. So, <laughs> I wondered what was, what was going on. Okay, so... 
Let's go to the Climate Emergency Institute presentation. So again, it's on the 2021, just to refresh your memories. It's if you go to Climate Emergency Institute, go to the bottom, 2021 warning brings you to this page. And if you scroll down quite near the top, is a not, you can click on that link and you can follow these slides as I go through and talk about them. Okay, so, so let's go in. Okay, so basically we're, the Earth's sixth mass extinction isn't just happening, it's accelerating. It's happening at faster and faster rates. So if you look at the cumulative extinctions as a percentage of the species, um, International Union Conservation Network, basically the number of species, then the mammals here are, we're losing mammals at the fastest rate. General vertebrates, um, uh, deer, birds, frogs, birds, you know, those are very, very high rates. Other vertebrates at lower rates, but we're losing stuff very, very rapidly. Vertebrates are on the brink as indicators of biological annihilation and the sixth mass extinction. So this, this is all reference. This was in a June 2020 paper with the proceedings of the National Academy of Science. If you invert that curve up above, you know, this is more what we're used to seeing. If we're losing species, we're generally, you know, we, we generally plot it so that we see a decrease. So this is the same curve, just flipped and inverted. The extinction risk is increasing under all RCP scenarios with the risk increasing with both the magnitude and the rate of climate change. Um, and this is in the IPCC 2014, which is the latest assessment. The next one should be out you know, soon, maybe later this year or early next year. Um, they're out every seven years. This is AR5, the fifth assessment report, working group two. If global heating greenhouse gases gas emissions are not stopped, including deforestation being stopped, we're, we're, we're basically on the path to drive uh, life on Earth to extinction. We need no more reason than this one reason to stop burning fossil fuels. And also, I argue, we need carbon capture and, and we need um, to solar radiation management. Um, the world economy and governments have global climate change on an accelerating worst case global suicide scenario heading. Global climate change indicators are at record highs adverse or they're, they're on worst case scenarios and they're accelerating. Okay, so there's been many nations that have declared climate emergencies. 18 countries as of, as of uh, a few months ago, as of January 2021, 18 countries plus the EU has declared a climate emergency. And the source of this, there's lots of information on a site called the Climate Mobilization if you want to get more info on that. Okay, so the worst case scenario by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, it's RCP, Representative Concentration Pathway 8.5. And that projects by 2081 to 2100, a temperature rise of ranging from 4.3 degrees Celsius to 5.4 degrees Celsius. Okay, and uh, so here's the plot here. This is the temperature degrees Celsius. This is relative to the 1850 to 1900 baseline. So again, uh, if you wanna make this um, go back relative to 1750, you need to add 0 0.3 degrees. So we're right here and we're heading up. Now, the, uh, there's a chart in the, in the IPCC um, working group, the AR5 working group one, and it's got the different scenarios and the global mean surface temperature change. And it's relative to 1986 to 2005. So you need to add, uh, 0.3 degrees to get it back. Uh, you need to add 0.6 degrees basically, uh, and and uh, to, because of the shifting baselines. So you know 2.6 degrees by 2046 to 2065, 4.3 degrees by 2081 to 2100. The the worst case scenario. Now a lot of these models they don't account for the amplifying feedbacks and the higher climate sensitivity that we're seeing. So that brings the temperature up. So this is a, accounting for those, this isn't, and it brings us to 7.8 degrees Celsius 
Thank you for listening. I'll continue in another video.